Hello guys, welcome back to the Tenorshare channel. We've got so used to our mobile phones nowadays, that we can't bear the idea of losing them. For some of you, not even for a minute without it. This being said, you would never want to see something like this on your device. A black screen, and no matter what button you press, it just won't turn itself on. Thank God, as someone who have worked with iOS devices for years, I did learn how to fix this. Here I'd like to share these tricks with you guys. Let's dive in. The first one you want to try is the force restart. Pretty simple, no computer, no data loss. For iPhone 10 or later, is press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down, then press and hold the power button, let it go when the Apple logo appears. You can force restart your device even if the screen is black or the buttons aren't responding. For iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, is press and hold both the power and volume down button until you see the Apple logo. Though this doesn't work at times, it's free and harmless. Moving on, if your device still won't turn on, you may consider plug your phone into a power and let it charge for up to one hour. After a few minutes, you should see a charging screen like this. If you don't see the charging screen within an hour, or you see the connect to power screen, you might want to try a different USB cable or power adapter, the original one preferable. Next one, you can boot up your phone using the recovery mode feature of Rayboot, it's free too. So once open it, attach your phone into the computer. Now we are going to put it into recovery mode. Seam is the force restart, but hold the power button a bit longer till you see the connect to laptop icon. Now go ahead and hit the exit recovery mode button. Here we go. See, this works too. If you are stuck in recovery mode, using the standard repair would be a good idea, which can help secure all your data. So make sure the phone are still connected and in recovery mode. Then click start. Choose the standard repair. Download the firmware. Then you can start repairing. As soon as it says the repair process is completed, you'll see the home screen. Most importantly, everything is still there. The last one, you might fix this by updating the iOS using iTunes. So once you connect your phone and put it in recovery mode, go ahead and click update. Download the firmware. Now iTunes will start updating. See, iTunes does the trick too. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you guys. This is Tenorshare channel. See you in the next video.